Welcome back everyone, it's Effenhusa57 here. We are back on Dying Light, of course, uh, playing with Spartan Gaming. He's got a zombie behind him. That was actually kind of funny. Okay, never mind. Um, anyways, today I have a video for you on how to get the Toxic Reaper blueprint. It is a legendary blueprint. And uh, we are simply just continuing the blueprint hunt series. So it's in Old Town, and you come over here to this little spot on the map basically right in the middle of the roadway. Uh, works better if you have a friend to help kill the zombies, but pretty simple. Just come down here in this nasty, like, piss yellow water area that you really don't want to be in anyways, and come to the back of the van. There's the toxic blueprint, or yeah, toxic reaper blueprint. And we'll take a look at what that does. Come over here to blueprints, I have too many of those things. And there we go, it's a, like I said, it's a legendary. And basically it adds bleeding uh, at a medium effect and it adds medium toxic. So both pretty good stats and it can be used on, let me go back down to that again. Can be used on a good variety of weapons, short swords, two hand swords, machetes, kopesh, sickle, blades, cleavers. So it's actually a pretty good one, not quite as good as, you know, the angel sword, but it's a decent one to have and part of the collection. So if you have any questions, comments, uh, anything like that, make sure you leave a comment. Otherwise, go ahead and subscribe for more content and check out Spartan's channel. So thanks for watching.